Today here at Aurora Films, we're inspecting the Acoustablock installation on the exterior skin of the building. This has been installed to prevent environmental noise from affecting the sound stage. Acoustablock is a viscoelastic membrane that's used for sound isolation. It attenuates sound and the way that it does that is when sound hits it or is bombarded to the material, it vibrates internally. Through this vibration internally, it dissipates that energy in its own mass. This install is extremely unique. The philosophy behind this building is to stop as much of the outdoor noise that may interfere with the soundstage from bleeding into the soundstage. So in this particular situation, instead of putting material on the inside of the space and stopping sound from going outside, we're putting it on the outside of the space to stop the sound from coming inside. So in this case, lining the entire building and then having the metal pressed up against the acoustic block will actually damp the metal and lower its resonance. So you get a, a huge amount of attenuation from outside to inside. Here at Aurora, we've got our, our wall frame assembly. Then we have our absorption material that goes inside the studio. Then our sound isolation material on the outer skin of the building. And the final outer skin pressed up against this. By doing this, this will damp the metal of the building so we won't get the ring from rain and sleet and, and wind. What you can see is at the very top of this building, you'll see flaps of acoustic block. Those flaps will be used when we run the acoustic block straight up these vertical walls. We'll overlap it so we don't have any air gaps so we can get a tight seal of acoustic block on the entire perimeter of the building. Okay, so right here on the outside of the building, you'll see where the acoustic block's getting installed, kind of the way shingles overlap. We have one layer, then we have another layer. This will get sealed with an acoustical sealant called acoustic caulk and then tape all the way up the entire building. So here's a critical junction on the building. At this critical junction, you can see the acoustic block goes all the way down to the bottom of this flashing. This will give us an airtight seal so we won't have any noise leaking into this building. We've lined every one of those corrugated veins with absorption material, and then we've layered the entire roof with acoustic block. So if you'll notice in the back of the shot, you'll see the acoustic block vertically on the building. We've only attached it to the top, the middle, and the bottom. By having three points of contact instead of six or seven, we're going to increase the effectiveness of the sound transmission of the wall. Typically in a house, when this gets installed inside, it's attached every 16 to 24 inches. So we have a distinct advantage installing it this way on this building.